We've all seen reports of long lines and frustration from consumers as they waited for drive-through testing. Part of that is due to the test requirements. We um, have a three-stage process where uh, we are doing a verbal triage uh, to see if see what their symptoms are, see if they meet criteria for the testing, and if they do, then they will be registered, um, seen by a provider, and then they will have the test done. Another option in several states is called a drive-up self-swab nasal test, offered at drugstores like Rite Aid, overseen by their pharmacists. Now there's an opportunity to test yourself at home. The FDA approved this diagnostic test designed by LabCorp. It's very easy and safe to perform. Our data show that it's as accurate as having it performed in the doctor's office or in a clinic. They can perform the test, put it in the tube of saline, and overnight it back to the lab, and then get the results thereafter from LabCorp. CBN News also reached out to LabCorp. The company did not respond to our inquiry, but it did release a statement saying that the self-test will help prevent the risk of transmitting the virus to others, and it will also reduce the demand for personal protective equipment because a clinician is not required. LabCorp will make the kits initially available to frontline healthcare workers and first responders. Its goal is to make the test available to the public in the coming weeks. The $119 price tag could be an issue, but LabCorp says it will work with customers and health insurance companies so folks don't have to pay up front. LabCorp also notes that its at-home test does not detect antibodies or immunity. CBN medical reporter Lori Johnson explains the difference. Because the antibody test, a lot of people are confused about it because you hear testing, testing. There are two main tests. One of them is the test to see if you have COVID-19 right now. The other is the antibody test, also called the antigen test, which tells you whether you ever had it. And that is so important because an estimated 60% of people who had COVID-19 had no symptoms. Symptoms, they never even knew they had it. If you test positive with the antibody test, Johnson says you probably now are immune to COVID-19. And doctors believe people with antibodies may be key to treating the most critically ill. These former patients are donating plasma after they recover. Mark Martin, CBN News. I think rapid testing is, is the key to reopening the, the country. Rapid testing and then uh, tracing. We don't seem to be much closer to any kind of cure or treatment. Uh, there's some things that are showing some promise and uh, we're a long way away from any kind of um, vaccine. So uh, finding out if you have it, uh, if people around you have it is, is absolutely key and then tracing all the contacts. Um, but would you spend $119 to be tested at home? Um, I would say yes. If it was, if, if I really felt like I was sick, I would, you had the symptoms if I had all the symptoms sure. and I just wanted to make sure, um, j just so that I wouldn't, I would know for sure 100% mm -hmm. and I wouldn't be able to spread it and just be knowledgeable of that. Right. So yes. Would you? Um, <laughs> it, I'm kind of cheap <laughs> if insurance yeah. isn't going to cover it. I mean, true. you know, and then, okay, I'm sick. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'm already, if I'm sick right now, I am in quarantine. Mm -hmm. I'm not, yeah. I'm not taking chances with yeah. anybody. Yeah. So that piece is already done. Now the issue is, you know, making decisions. Do I yeah. start calling docs and hospitals? Yeah. And I stuff. think it would bring me peace of mind. Yeah. Just knowing yes or no. Just but you're a lot you know. healthier. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe. All right. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.